Good evening, and thank you for joining us for the 2020 Calvin Park Public School graduation ceremony. Even though we can't be together in person this year, we are so very excited to celebrate our graduates and their accomplishments tonight. Graduates, we could not have predicted back in September that your grade eight year and your elementary education would end this way. I certainly didn't expect to be speaking to you from my home on graduation night. You may feel a little bit disappointed, but what I want you to really think about are the amazing displays of perseverance, determination, and resilience that you have shown this year. I would also like you to think about what you have learned about yourself during this time. How will you act? How will you learn? And how will you be different once we move past this? Because we will move on. Be proud of yourselves. No other group of grade eight grads have lived through the experiences that you have had over the past few months. This makes you a very special group. A world of opportunities is waiting for you as you move into high school. Join a club, try out for a team, become a band member, play intramurals. Don't be afraid to take chances. Hard work will take you a long, long way. Build new friendships and support others to be their very best and don't be afraid to reach out for help when you need it. Your teachers, your friends, your family, we are all here to help you succeed. This moment that you have right now is your moment to shine. Tonight is your night. We wish you health and happiness as you move into high school. We will miss you, but know that you are destined for great things. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Graduates, it is an honor to share this special occasion with you. As you move through the next stage of your public education, I hope you embrace all that you've achieved and studied. High school will bring new challenges, but you now have the skills and knowledge that you need to succeed. Your hard work and compassion for others will serve you well. This may not be how you expected to celebrate your graduation with a virtual ceremony, but we hope it will still be memorable. We have seen wonderful examples of strength, resilience, and teamwork these past few months as we have all come together to respond to the pandemic. I am proud of the way Limestone students have risen to this unprecedented challenge. I encourage you to continue to take care of yourselves and each other. Graduates, your schools, your families, and I have endless hope for you. Hope that you have a dream. Hope that we have succeeded in teaching you that character matters. Hope that your work ethic and empathy will lead you to happiness. On behalf of Limestone District School Board, I congratulate the graduating class of 2020. Hi everyone, my name is Garrett Elliott. I'm the School Board Trustee for Portsmouth, Trillium and Meadowbrook Strathcona. And while it's sad that we can't be here in person to celebrate, I'm honored to be able to bring video greetings on behalf of the Limestone District School Board. Congratulations to all the grads and good luck in all your future successes. Congratulations. On behalf of the senior staff of the Limestone District School Board, I'm thrilled to share in your virtual celebration. I would like to personally thank all of our LDSB staff. You are a special team and you consistently go above and beyond the call of duty. Students, as you move forward, I have three wishes for you. First of all, practice flexibility. I don't mean become an expert in yoga. I mean, think flexibly. Try new things. When you challenge yourself, you will discover how resourceful you truly are. These last few months have taught us how important flexibility really is. Second, continue to learn. Read, have a conversation with someone that you've just met. Ask them questions. Think deeply and critically. The older you get, the more you will realize how much you still have to learn. Third, give back. We need a world that honors kindness, compassion, and a deep understanding of humanity. Be purposeful every day about sharing just a little bit of sunshine with someone else with no expectation of return. Hold the door open, say a kind word. Be nice, it will improve your own day and you have no idea the difference it will make to someone else. We are all looking forward to seeing what you achieve in the future. I'm going to leave you with a quote from Christopher Reeve. 
So many of our dreams at first seem impossible, then they seem improbable, but when we summon the will, they will soon become inevitable. Dream big and congratulations. Never stop believing in yourself. When others doubt, don't you. Do what you love to do. No one knows better than you. Life is too short to live others' dreams. Follow your own dream. Push yourself to reach your goals. And live the life you once dreamed. Trust your instincts. Be true to yourself. You know what is right for you. Never give up or give in. Forget the words, I don't know how. You can learn. You can research. You can do. Your mind is powerful. When you believe you can. You will find a way. You won't waste a day. Persist and persevere. Do not fear, because if you believe in you, you will find your dreams can come true. May all your dreams turn into goals. Believe in yourself. And remember, all of life is a choice. The decision is up to you. Believe in yourself, dare to be, whatever you want to be.
The Islam Family Bursary Award is presented to refugee or first-generation immigrant grade 8 students. Students are chosen to receive this award based on their successful transition to school in Canada, highlighting skills of perseverance and dedication. Congratulations to this year's recipients, Khalil Muslam, Khalid Al-Hamzi, Reem Al-Jalam, and Haya Al-Mater. The Uri Mackey Arts Award is presented to the top grade 8 student in each program who has demonstrated excellence in all areas of the arts in honours of the contributions of Mr. Ori Mackey, a former Calvin Park teacher. This year's winners are Shiloh Evans, Tasha Ko, Jialin Liu, and Ruby Sabag. Congratulations. The Comet Spirit Award is presented to the top grade 8 students in each program who have demonstrated excellence in leadership, cooperation, and spirit. This year's recipients are Claire Stewart, Amanda Florencio, Naomi Zhu, and Brady Kyle. Congratulations! The Burgess Davidson Literary Award is presented to the top grade 8 student in each program who has excelled in writing in honor of the contributions of Miss Mary Davidson and Miss Joy Burgess, two former teachers at Calvin Park. This year's winners are Trent Burns, Sophie Ranson, Abu Bondari, and Anna DiPaolo. Congratulations. The Athletic Leadership Award is presented to a student who has participated in a wide variety of activities throughout the year, both as an athlete and as a volunteer. This student leads by example, demonstrates a positive outlook, believes in fair play, inclusivity, and motivates others around them to be their very best. Congratulations to this year's recipients, Chantal Pinon and Brady Kyle. The Connie Minot's Villanueva Award is an award that recognizes excellence in dance in honor of a former Calvin Park student within the LEAP program. This year's winner is Edith Leishman. Congratulations. The Gorgon Peterson Technical Achievement Award was created to demonstrate our appreciation for two community volunteers, Michael Gorgon and Chris Peterson, who continue to mentor and support the Calvin Park Tech Crew and demonstrate a commitment to our school theatrical performances. This annual award is given to a Calvin Park graduate who demonstrates consistent enthusiasm toward technical design and operation and commitment to tech crew endeavors. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Hayden Moore. The Calvin Park Staff Award is presented to a student who, in the opinion of the staff, has demonstrated a particular spirit, determination, and willingness to help out anywhere their assistance is needed at Calvin Park. This year's winner is Kaylee DeWolf. Congratulations. The Athletic Award is presented to the top grade eight athletes who have demonstrated great sportsmanship, leadership, and athletic ability, and they've participated in a wide variety of extracurriculars and varsity athletics. Congratulations to this year's recipients, Andre Netter and Lindsey Brown. The Ontario Principals Council Award for Student Leadership is presented to the grade eight student who has demonstrated outstanding leadership in many areas throughout the school. This year's winner is Andrea Wang. Congratulations. When I started Atlas in grade seven, it felt strange, but I never would have thought that our good Bida Atlas would be even stranger. COVID-19 has taken away everything that I was looking forward to as we ended our grade eight year. Our bike trip, our zoo trip, our graduation and boat cruise. I don't feel like I, I'm only speaking for myself when I say that this feels disappointing. 
I want to use this opportunity to help us feel connected in our virtual goodbye by talking about some of the best parts of Atlas and saying thanks to everyone who helped us along the way. Thanks to the Calvin staff for being great leaders and educators to all the students. A big thank you to Mr. B and Mr. Raby for seeing all of us as individuals and always making our learning unique and fun. Some of my favorite moments with all of you were when we went to Gould Lake and our bike trip to Wolf Island. Our canoe trip will always stand out for me because the day was so imperfect. It was cold and raining and not in any way a good day for canoeing, but Atlas made it a perfect day. What made it perfect was that even though we were soaked and freezing, we were all so happy to be there. We made the most of the day and I will always remember it that way. Our canoe trip makes me think about us as students. Our learning needs and styles could make our school experience pretty miserable, just like the weather I would like. But instead, we learned to work to be our best selves in Atlas and we learned to be happy with who we are. We made our grade seven and eight experience amazing, even in perfect circumstances. I don't feel like I'm a different person since I started Atlas, but I know that I have learned some really important lessons that will always stay with me. I learned that our teachers can be part of our cheering section and some of the best advocates when we let them. I have learned that when teachers believe in us, it allows us to grow. I have learned that big things are possible for all of us as long as we work hard and believe in ourselves. I hope all of you are leaving Atlas feeling the same way. These lessons will help all of us continue to succeed and inspire people around us. I know that school hasn't always been easy for many of us in the Atlas program, but I know that Mr. B and Mr. Raby have prepared us for the next chapter. I don't really know what September is going to look like for me because of COVID-19. None of us really do. But what I do know is that one of the best things that Atlas has taught all of us is how to adapt. How to adapt our learning to meet our needs, how to adapt our language to advocate for ourselves. Because of Mr. Raby and Mr. B, we have all mastered this skill, and I know that no matter what school brings in September, we are all going to thrive. The last thing I want to say is thank you to all my Atlas peers for the last two years. We will always have great memories of our time together. I wish you all the best as you move on to high school, and I hope we can stay in touch. I am looking forward to an in-person celebration when we are finally able to be together again. Dear class of 2020, we finally made it. Today, we may not have flowers or graduation caps, but what we do have is possibly the most special graduation in history. Never before have so many people gathered together worldwide to celebrate their achievements, dreams, and success. Wherever you are right now, you will soon be walking out of one world to soar into a much bigger one. Regardless of what you're feeling, I hope these memories from our past two years at Challenge give you some sort of comfort, hope, and even a little bit of inspiration. In sports teams, many of us discover talent within ourselves as well as our teammates. Every day, we walked into the gym prepared to learn the next steps to becoming better. But we didn't just have the opportunity to play sport. We had clubs such as social justice, chess club, intramurals, arts, and much, much more. Our Challenge program also had the opportunity to perform motivating minds where students let their imagination flow. It was in these little moments, whether that was starting a campaign or singing a song at Coffee House, that we felt the most like ourselves. We've also gone on two very memorable trips, RKY and Montreal. No one could forget that freezing water and stories filled with laughter and fun. I remember all the enthusiasm, memories, and the feeling of being alive. It wasn't just about the experience that's outside the classroom, but also the learning that happened each day. Bright teachers, inside jokes, experiments, class plays, and the stress of assignments, which made our experience and challenge unforgettable. Today, the fear of our uncertain future, as our daily lives turn upside down, is the moment we realize our freedom. When we finally break out of ourselves, we are alone, yet also together. We may be seeing each other through just the small lens of a camera, but I know that all of your futures will bloom into something magnificent. I would like to end by thanking everyone at Challenge, all teachers and parents, because you're the reason that we've enjoyed our past two years. At Calvin, we always found new adventures waiting for us, but now we're ready to move on. As my last words to the graduates, know that even a little bit of kindness can go a long way. Because as Maya Angelou once said, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. 
Hello everyone, I am Kaylee DeWolf and I was chosen to be the valedictorian who will be speaking on behalf of core grade 8 students. Today, I would like to take the time to fill your mind with some incredible memories and share some foresight with you. As we first adventured through the new middle school experience, everyone was so welcoming from both teachers and staff as well as the students. Over the past few years, students at Calvin Park were involved in a lot of opportunities, like a field trip to Ghoul Lake back in the fall where we sang TikTok songs on the way back to the school. Last year, we also got to enjoy the LCVI Carnival. We appreciated the henna designs and lots of people loved being able to stay outside and skip some class time to spend it with their friends. All students got to experience chances for hands-on learning. In particular, time spent in the kitchen, cooking great food, and hearing the best jokes from Mr. Warman. These special moments we all created were what shaped our time at Calvin Park. I'll now be leaving you with some words of encouragement. Someone once told me that if you go into it with a positive attitude, you'll almost always get a positive result. So I walked into my grade 8 year with that mindset. It changed my outlook on everything, and not only school. I truly did get that positive result. Don't look at high school as a chore, but an opportunity to achieve your goals. Work hard for them and keep your positive attitude because you will do great things. Thank you. Dear teachers and fellow graduates, I'm greatly honored to be able to give this speech as we mark the point where we leave the LEAD program and take our knowledge and experience into the next chapter of our lives. I think we have been very fortunate to experience a unique grade A year at LEAD. I know that some of my classmates would look at our year and say that it was not what we expected, to say the least, but I think we've been very lucky to get to experience a different kind of LEAP. This year really showed me that LEAP isn't just an arts program because of the shows and the extra classes, it's an arts program because of the atmosphere created by the teachers and the students inside and outside of the classroom. When I applied for LEAP and the teacher said that LEAP is a family, I was skeptical. But now looking back on it, I'm really surprised at how right they were, because now it feels like I've known the Leapers for so much longer than two years. Leap gave us a new way of looking at our learning. We are not just single learners. We are part of an ensemble. And in order for everything to go smoothly, each of us needs to do our part. I learned this not just from being in shows, but also from being in groups in class and having an obligation to complete work, not just for myself, but for my peers. Remember the first day of school when all the grade eights stuck their heads out of the dance studio door and yelled at us? and that yelling welcomed us into the program, and remember their guidance in Coffee House and Showcase, and how to get to the gym, and how important it is that Miss McDee have her coffee in the morning. Even though we did not have Coffee House or Showcase this year, I still think that the dynamic between us is strong. It was a great leadership opportunity for the grade eights to go out of their comfort zone to make the Sevies feel like part of the team, as our grade eights had did for us. On behalf of all of us, I wanna say thank you to our teachers. They really are the glue to leap. I also don't think that any student versus teacher basketball game would be the same without them. They're charismatic and exciting, and they really created an amazing environment for all of us to step out of our comfort zone. David Bowie once said, if you feel safe in the area you're working in, you're not working in the right area. Always go a little further into the water than you feel capable of being in. Go a little out of your depth. This quote really reflects what leap has given me. I'm a little further in the water than I was before, and that's exciting. I also want to say thank you to my classmates. You are all such a talented group of people, and I had a blast making skits and performing with all of you. I also hope that you have had as positive an experience as I did. When writing my speech, I asked my classmates what they have taken away from the LEAP experience. They all said similar things, but the one thing that stood out to me was how much we value the people we spend time with, how meeting like-minded people changed our experience, and how they helped us through the best and the worst. We certainly had lots to bond over because there was some pretty crazy things that happened in our time at LEAP. We had bomb threats, an amazing Stratford trip, strikes, snow days, COVID-19, and so much more. And we really do thank each other because it would not have been the same without every single one of the grade eights. I'm really proud of everyone because even though we all got in with different arts talents, we all come out the same. Not only better artists, but better leaders, better friends, and better people. I wish the teachers all the best with their students next year, even though they couldn't possibly be as good as we are. And I also wish all of you the best with whatever school you choose to go to. Although we are leaving LEAP, we will always be LEAPers. Thank you. To our grade eight Calvin Park graduates, you are year 2020 graduates. Congratulations. 
You have graduated during a year in which remarkable change occurred daily. As you reflect on your grade eight year now and in the future, as Coach Carter states from one of my favorite quotes, you are more powerful than you know, and your light did shine. You graduate in an unprecedented time in history, and you demonstrated by your words, your work, your contributions, and your actions that you will succeed. There will be many times of celebration in your future and also more challenging times. You did, will, and can impact the world. I, along with all the Calvin Park staff, wish you a wonderful summer and congratulations, grade eights. Hi, my name is Emily. And I'm Chantel. And we are grade 8 students at Calvin Park in Ms. Yateman and Ms. Stewart's class. We've collaborated on a song because at Calvin we had the time of our lives. I played guitar. And I did vocals. We hope you enjoy! Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hang it on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos of memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life I hope you had the time of your life
Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories Bring back your There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain When I believed in forever And everything would stay the same now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gonna be alright Gonna raise a glass and say yeah. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the dreams bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the dreams bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories Bring back your Memories bring back memories Bring back your there's a time that I remember When I never felt so lost And I felt all of the hatred Was too powerful to stop oh, yeah. Now my heart feel like an ember And it's lighting up the dark I'll carry these torches for ya And you know I'll never drop yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gonna be alright Raise a glass and say, hey. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back memories. Bring back your. Memories bring 